If you are in the process of trying to de-Google yourself, remove yourself from Google and other big mega corporations, then one of the main things you are going to have to deal with is your email. So I want to give you a couple of options and then walk you through a bit of a setup. The first option is Proton. Proton is very privacy focused and they have a mail service. They have webmail and they have a mobile app. It doesn't really play well with clients. If you're using Outlook and stuff like that, it doesn't play great. You need a connector, but it does have all of the bits and pieces you need. It costs, of course, all of the services cost. If it's free, you're the product. If not, someone has to pay and that's going to be you if it's not advertised. But you get multiple email addresses, a single domain, you get storage, you get calendar, you get all of the stuff. They have, that's just the Proton Mail. They do have a whole range of services. Proton's really good because they're very privacy focused. The next option I'll recommend is Zoho. Zoho is pretty cheap, like for just email, it's a buck a month. It's pretty good. And the reason I'm suggesting Zoho is they have every possible service that you could want. The basically all of the Google stuff, just a lot cheaper. Is it fantastic? No, but it's email. So those would be the two I'd recommend for paid subscription services to just remove you away from Google stuff. But the ideal solution is to not use any of those services at all and try and get away from a monthly subscription. If you're using Gmail, you're probably going to be using it with one or two things, either a Gmail account or you've already set up and you're using Google Workspace and you're using your own domain. If you're using a Gmail account, I recommend buying a new domain, setting up purely mail and then using a client. I'll walk you through how to do that in a second. If you're using your own domain and you're using Google Workspace, then I would recommend using purely mail and then a client. Now, there are multiple clients. Thunderbird is free and open source. Uh, and Thunderbird works Mac, Linux, mobile phones, all of that jazz. Let's assume you've got Gmail and you need to walk through the process of getting a domain, getting it set up, getting purely mail in and putting on a client. So first step is to go into Cloudflare, get an account. The account is free. Then go into domain registration and register a domain. Buy a domain that's specific for you. I have myname.com. You could get your name is CC and I recommend CC because it's cheap, but you can get .com. I doubt your name is going to be available, but your name is .me is $16 a year. So one month of those subscription services and you own the domain. If you got .cc, it is $8 a year. I recommend using Cloudflare because it is cheap. They don't put any additional fees on top of a domain purchase. So it's a, the cheapest you will get is from Cloudflare, but they have all of the additional services you need and it's very easy to use. So purchase a domain. Then you go into your domain and you'll see on the left DNS. We're going to need to get to our DNS and our DNS records. Once you purchase, it should look something like this. Now we need to go to Purely Mail. Purely Mail is a mail server. That's all it does. It is purely mail. They do have calendar stuff in here, but that's a whole other video to do. For now, we're just trying to solve email. And you've got two options with this. Once you get an account for $10 a year, that's it. And you can have multiple domains, multiple different email accounts all managed here. You can either use a client like Thunderbird or Outlook if you still have a license and you're not having to pay a subscription for it. Or you can use Roundcube, which is a web mail. As you can see, pricing is $10 a year. Purely Mail has been around for a long, long time. They did just get purchased a while ago, like maybe a year ago, but by a small company who just care about mail. That's it, it's just mail delivery. Once you sign up, you're gonna to have to add a domain. Go into the domains, add a new domain, and we'll call this benlab.cc. I'll check the DNS records, and it says they're not valid. We know that, we haven't done any setup. So let's set up. We go to our MX records, and we copy mail server. We go back to our Cloudflare, and I'm gonna go add record, find MX, at for root that, we add in the mail server and it says priority 10. So priority 10, save. Okay, next one. Now we need a text record. So copy that, add record, scroll down the bottom, text, at, which is just the root, the basic, or you can leave it empty, save. And then we need a, another text record. Let's go back to Cloudflare, another text record, save. Okay, now we are going to DKIM. This is... Essentially, anti-spam. This is about protecting your email and making sure that if 
a client like Outlook sees that you've sent an email that it knows that it's actually come from the correct ownership. The people who own that domain are actually sending it. We are going to add these details now. One, two, and three. So we add a C name. We need our key one. And I'm going to turn off the proxy. Save. And then we're going to get our number two. Add record. C name two. Add the key two. Turn off the proxy and save. Now the last one. Add record, C name, thing, go back, grab our other one, turn off proxy and save. Excellent. And the last thing, we get our D mark, add record, C name, grab our D mark, grab our value, turn off proxy and save. Those are the settings we want to set up. So when someone sends an email, it knows the records, it will send it to pure lead mail. Go back up and check the records. Perfect. Another thing with Cloudflare is it's pretty quick for these types of things to get set up and propagated. I also just found there is Cloudflare specific pointers. So you have all of the details right there. Hit save and we're basically good to go. Now we need to create our users. We've got it set up, but now it needs to go to people. So I'm going to go in users, create a new user, select the domain I've just added, and I will set up a mail. Hello. I'm going to add a password, Hit save. There we go. I've gone to webmail. I'm going to log in as the user I just created. And now I have my hello. So I'm going to send an email from another account. Done. It works. I now have, you saw how long that took? We now have email. But if you don't want to use web, you want to use another service like Thunderbird. Let's set that up. Thunderbird is an email client just like Outlook. It has calendar. It has all of the bits and pieces you want, and it works for all of your services. So download and install, and then you'll be prompted to set up an account. Okay. On install, you will have to create an account. Hello. And the email address, hello at benlab.cc configuration. I want IMAP. We'll set up IMAP at purely mail and we want port 993 and we want it to SLS TLS. And then we'll hit continue. Then we need the outgoing and that will be SMTP purely lab. We want 465 connection security will be SSL TLS continue. Add the password which is what we set up when we created the user in purely mail. Continue, finish. And we now have in our Thunderbird email setup. So if you're using Gmail and you've still got people using, sending, going to send you email to Gmail and you have purchased a domain and you're now using Thunderbird, I would recommend going into Gmail and going into your settings and you can just forward all email that comes in to that new email address. And then you can log out and never come back. Then over time, as you're just responding, you'll be responding with your custom domain email. The other thing with, with purely mail is you can have different domains. So if you've got a personal and a work and a whatever, then you can use purely mail to have different domains all set up in the same way and all sending to your Thunderbird. And that's how you start to get rid of Google services for your email.